Hi, I'm Travis Blackley with the Brisbane Bandits, and here's today's pro tip. Going uh, talking about the cutter today. So first thing, yeah, there's many ways to grip the cutter, and the main uh, the main thing with the cutter is you want to make sure it's more like a fastball and less like a slider. So generally, when you're throwing a fastball, whether it be four seam or two seam, we're going to be directly on top of the ball, maybe just inside it. Now with a cutter, though, I like to hold mine like a slider grip. So I'm going to hold it just like this across the bottom of the horseshoe. And now the difference being with a slider, you break your wrist. With a cutter, if this was my fastball, my wrist is dead straight. And if I'm throwing a cutter, I'm going to pre-cut my wrist to the side. and I'm going to leave it like that all the way through my motion. And when I come through and I get out front and extended, I'm going to be off center cutting that ball right off the end of my fingertips. And that's what's going to give it that tight, late break. So, you know, basically, if you're throwing a cutter, you don't want it to be too big, otherwise you might as well call it a slider. You want to really have that ball going about 50, 55 feet in there as, as straight as possible, and then darting in on the hitter's hands or away from the hitter's barrel. So, pretty much want to stick with, uh, with that. It's a pretty good pitch. It worked for Mariano Rivera for many years, uh, and uh, it seems to work for me all right. Uh, but it's good enough for Mariano Rivera, hey?